Welcome to Mrs. Allen's first grade class here at Franklin Elementary. I'm gonna start off by showing you what our room looks like and give you kind of a quick little tour. As you come in, we have our lunch choice section. And on the other side, we have our behavior chart. I'll explain that more later. Our resource board gets filled in more as the year goes along. It's something we do together as a class. We have a classroom library at the back. We have cubbies, that's where they keep everything at the end of the day and beginning of the day, they drop it off. Right now we're sitting in desks and I've spaced them where they're at least three feet apart. And then when we come to the carpet, we do a lot of um, where I read to them and we do some math games and such over here. So they all have a dot where they're spaced far enough apart. Now I'm going to go through our day and kind of let you know what a day looks like in first grade. We start off as the kids come in and we start with some morning work while they're making their lunch choices, take a restroom break, do all of those things to get ready for the day. And then we start our math block right away. And um, for the math block, we do thir or 45 minutes of whole group and then about 45 minutes into centers or individualized work. And then in between our math block, it is split into two where we have specials. We have PE, library, music, art, and second steps with Mrs. Lindsay. Then we'll come back from our specials and we finish out our math block, go into lunch at 1030, and then we come back, do a little phonics, and then we have our 20 minute recess outside, weather pending, and then um, we come back in for our reading block. And after our reading block, we take another little brain break recess in the classroom, and then we finish up with some re reading on the carpet and writing time. And um, there are several restroom breaks in between there. Some things that um, you need to know as your child comes home every day, they will have a behavior sheet that I'm asking you to sign every day. And it has several colors on it um, every day. Your child will start on green. And then as they make good choices, I try to always catch kids making good choices and they can move up. And then if they're not making great choices, they can move down also. You'll notice that um, sometimes I have kids in my class that aren't used to two greens. I like to give a free clip down per se because I want them to know like, hey, you know what, you made a mistake, it's okay. But you're still going home on yellow because some kids that first clip down, if they go to yellow, it really, makes them feel like they're they're now going to have a bad day and I want them to know they're not you know and you can always move up and down all throughout the day it's not once you go down you're stuck down or once you go up you're stuck up it's all day moving up and down um homework this year is going to be different than normal I'm attempting to put it on Google Classroom I don't do a lot of homework but I would like your kids to be reading at home the more they read at home the better they will be at reading so that's important. And then um, if I do assign something, it usually will be on a Monday and then I have it due on Friday. That way, if there's a day that you have that's more busy than others, you don't feel like you have to get it done that night. Um, lunch money is still the same. It needs to be turned in on Monday if at all possible, but if it's later in the week, we'll still accept it. But please mark it in an envelope with your child's name and then put Alan first on it and then label lunch money. I can't tell you how many times kids will bring in money and they don't know what it's for and I don't know if it's for daycare and then when they go send it down, it just, it's, it's so much better if it's labeled with their name, my name and lunch money. You also can pay that online if you go to the VCSC website. Um, for dismissal, this is the same as it's always been as well. I only can send your child home the way that you've told me at the beginning of the year. So if your child comes to school and they are a car rider always and they say, hey, I'm riding the bus today, I will not put them on the bus unless you've sent a note in. I have to have a note for any change. It's just a safety thing because in first grade they might, you might say something simple like, hey, 
we'll see and maybe grandma will come and we'll pick you up. And then if that doesn't happen, they, they're confused maybe and they think that it is happening. So I, I need a note if you want that to change or you can call the office and the office will let me know. Don't just email me with a change because there's a good chance I won't be able to check my email at that moment and I won't know. So go ahead and either call the office or send a note. Um, so that's that's really important because I've had that happen before where you know the kid thinks then they're in trouble because they're not gonna go home the way their parent told them. But if I don't have a written way, I, I have to send the normal way. Um, some new things this year. Normally on birthdays, we don't mind if you guys send in some kind of treat for the kid to have to send to share with the class. But this year with the new guidelines from the coronavirus, we are not allowed to have birthday treats sent in from home. There is a Sodexo pack that can be bought through the school and the cafeteria will provide that, but um, that's the only way we're allowed to do birthday treats. It can't even be like pencils or anything, just nothing from home. We're trying to really limit passing materials back and forth between students and that's one way we can limit it. Um, masks, your child is required to wear one on the bus and then we are wearing them in the hallway. Anytime we leave the classroom, we put it on to go to the restroom break, we put it on on our way to lunch and we put it on on our way to and from recess. But in the classroom, they don't have to wear them. They can, but I don't require it. I have a couple of them that are, they just wear it the whole day and that's fine. I'm wearing one the whole day or I wear a face shield because I feel like with the mask, the kids can't understand me as well. So when I wear the face shield, they can see what I'm saying a little bit better. Um, another thing new this year is we have water bottles. You can see how they hook on the sides of the desks really nicely. We are not allowed to use water fountains this year currently. So the school provided a water bottle. We can refill these water bottles, but um, we, don't have extras so your child either needs to bring this same one back every day or a different one with a hook is really nice because they just hook really easily on there if it doesn't have the hook i'm asking them to keep it in their cubby that way it doesn't spill everywhere and get kicked over and all that um but it if you would rather only send them on mondays and then keep them all all week here and then I can send them home on the weekends to be washed. You can kind of let your child know what you expect from them and then they can follow that expectation. I'm just going to make sure that they do have them filled when they're here so that way they have water. Um, as of right now, we're just keeping them on our desks. If it, set, if it ends up being somewhat of an issue, then we'll keep them in our cubbies. But for right now, we're keeping them there. Um, another thing that I usually talk about on Meet Your Teacher Night is scholastic book orders. Those are little, um, pamphlets of paper, kind of like a book magazine. I will send those home usually about every month and near holidays they come in. If you want to order that, that's great. And if you don't, that's fine too. But it's so much easier if you can do that online. I have a code for our class. It is G-Y-J-X-F. I'm also sending that in a paper. It's just a lot easier. That way we don't have to mess with sending things through the mail with um, checks and all that. And I'm not allowed to accept cash, so it has to be a check in a labeled envelope. And if you could do it online and it's just, then it's done and they'll, they'll mail your books to me and then I can send them home with your child. Um, and then one more thing is a student of the week. I will every week have a different student be our student of the week or star student. I kind of use both terms with them. They can bring in a poster with pictures and then they get to be first for the whole week. It's kind of just their week that they get to be the leader and in charge of different things. Um, it's really exciting for the kids usually, they really enjoy it. And the more the, um, if you're able to send in a picture or a couple of pictures or a poster with pictures, they love to share that with the class. It's always really special for them to see, look, this was me when I was a baby or anything like that, or this was me when I, went on a trip to Holiday World, or they like to share that kind of stuff. And I have, everybody will get a chance to be star student or student of the week by the end of the year. Um, but I do try to make that last the whole week. And I usually send that paper home on a Friday. So you'll know on Friday, if you check their folder, that they will be the star student that coming Monday. Um, if you have any questions ever, I am using Class Dojo this year. I don't use the behavior form of it. I know some teachers, um, depending on who you've had in the past, they'll put, positive and negative notes in there. I don't use it for that, but I am using it just to keep contact with you. You can email me on there and I'll try to get back to you in a timely manner. If I don't email me again, sometimes I get busy and I will email you back um, then. 
you can call the school and leave me a message or you can email me. I have my email um, on a paper I'm sending home to. So I um, am always open to communication. I feel like anytime you're, if there's something you're concerned about, contact me. I would, we can work through it, figure it out. If your child needs extra help with something, let me know if they're having trouble talking to somebody, just, just let me know what um, you need from me and I, I really can help you out with whatever you're needing. I am loving your kids so far this year. They're a great group. They are eager to learn. They're so happy to be back in school and I cannot tell you how excited I am to be back in school too. Um, I think we're gonna have a great year. We're gonna keep with those guidelines that we're required to keep with right now and hopefully we can stay in school and have a great whole year. You'll see coming home this paper that's gonna tell you about our class and this will have my email on it. It has our Scholastic Book Code and just some different information on it. And then I also am going to send this paper. This will give me your child's name, but then like um, your, the parents' names, guardians' names, how to get a hold of you, how they get home, and then your email. When we do have class parties um, pending that we're still able to do that kind of thing this year for say Christmas, um, Valentine's Day, whatever, I usually will do a uh, sign up volunteer for how sending things in. At this point, I'm not allowed to have parent volunteers come in to help, but if that does change, I would love to have parent volunteers come in, but at this point I cannot, but you could send in um, items for our party if we were having one. So I hope your child's enjoying first grade so far. Like I said, please contact me with any information or concerns or questions, and I would be happy to get back to you. Thanks.